thanks for tuning in to Uprooted, and I really want to thank all of my new subscribers. So happy. It's really exciting to have you all here. And a big, big thank you to Kelly from Kelly's Kitchen Garden for uh, promoting my site. I know a lot of you are here because of her, and I'm really thankful. Thanks so much, Kelly. Here's a little clip of our front yard roses after a rain last night. They're just beautiful. And again, here's a little update, and thanks for watching. Hello, everyone. This morning, um, Jim has left me his pickup so I can head over to the cedar mill to pick up some more cedar boards to build some of, more of our beds. We're in a bit of a hurry to get all these planted out in the garden before I leave for Missouri on Friday. I'm headed to my cousin Kelly's and she and I are going to go attend the Baker Creek Spring Festival, planting festival. So excited about that. I'm driving be instead of flying because I know I'm going to want to bring home lots of plants. I have a list of things I'm hoping I can find, but that should be a really fun event that I am sure to um, film some to show you all. But anyways, um, got to get these guys planted and I got to get over to the cedar mill. So I wanted to show you a little bit of that once I get there. Okay, I just arrived at the Grant Cedar Mill. I'm going to take you on a little tour out here. It's got lots of cedar. Okay, so here's some of the unfinished logs at the front as you get in. Lots of um, lumber that they use for all these planks. And the back shed is where I'll be driving to get the boards we got. But it smells amazing here. I love that cedar smell. So now I'm in the warehouse and there's a lots of uh, different sizes. Uh, we were getting um, 10 by 8s. Uh, we wanted 10 by 100s, but you have to special order those and we didn't have time to do that. So here's a little look around. They're dumping mulch in that truck and we're really happy we found this place. It's a lot more affordable buying the boards here. Jim found a food grade oil that we're using to just kind of preserve the color a little bit. So we put those on after he runs them through a small planer he has in the garage. We have bags and bags and bags of cedar sawdust. I don't know what we're going to do with it. If anyone has any suggestions, I'd love to hear what we could do with some of the cedar um, mulch. I know it's, I don't think it's good for the garden, so I need to check that out, but we're just putting it in big bags for now. So we're going to get these home and start making some beds. We have uh, quite a few we're going to build. Well, we weren't going to be able to get all the ones built that we had, but here's just a few photos. We got some rain, so I'll, I couldn't do a lot of filming. So. Here's a little update. I know I need to show more, but this is kind of how it's coming along. And then we had, my beans look so sad. I'm hoping they'll do better. But at the end we had a rainbow and I'm taking that as a good sign. Thank you all for watching. I'll do an update from the Baker Creek Festival. Bye bye for now. Thank you.